Hey friends! So sorry I've been gone, but let's just jump into the video. So I actually do have my wedding dress, but spoiler alert, it is not from David's Bridal. I actually wound up going to a salon later that same day that I had my David's Bridal appointment and I found a dress that I absolutely adore uh, and I am so thankful for the consultant. But that's not what this video is about. Excuse the cattail. Sorry. Right off the bat, I drive to my appointment and I get there 15 minutes early. Mind you, this is during the middle of a pandemic and they told me that I could only bring two other people. I did bring my little sister along but they said that she could wait in the lobby with my grandmother and I could have one other person or two other people with me and they could switch out. However, they weren't abiding by their own rules and there were parties of five and six people so I'm not really sure why they even told me that I wasn't allowed to bring people when they're not following that rule at all. I approach the lady at the desk and she tells me that my consultant will be with me shortly and to go ahead and look through the dresses. Uh, the dress racks are about half the store. I go in search of what I'm looking for. I actually had a dress in mind that I beeline to and I found it and I was super excited. And once my appointment time rolled around, I was getting a little anxious because I saw that there were a lot of people filling in the store and I thought surely there's not another appointment that this consultant is going to have. like another one of the hosts because there were two girls up at the front of the store managing it surely one of them would take on the next appointment because they had shown up early which hey great they'd shown up early but this is my appointment time well 30 minutes after my appointment goes by and yes i did stay in the store and i was still pulling dresses um or just looking around at dresses because Honestly, I didn't want to overwhelm the consultant, so I just had about four dresses that I had pulled. Finally, my consultant makes her way over, and they inform me that I would not be their only bride, that there would be a second bride that they would be managing. There also wasn't any clarification as to if my appointment was just going to be 30 minutes or if I was going to be able to have that full hour because she was 30 minutes late. She was 30 minutes late from another appointment but like I said I did see other consultants around so I thought one would just pick me up or a host would pick me up. I'm sure that they were doing something else but I just was a little bit underwhelmed with the fact that they were so short-staffed. I feel like management definitely could have planned a bit better. When we got back to the actual dressing room, um, my consultant said, hey, do you need a corset or would you like a corset? And I told her my size that I thought I was, um, and it wound up being a bit too snug and I needed another one, but she actually just handed me the corset and left. I don't know if you've ever tried to put on a bridal corset by yourself, but it's not like a bra. It has clasps all the way down the back, and thankfully I had my mom there, um, so we actually just grabbed a corset that was hanging on a rack because we were by the racks of veils and the racks of corsets. Um, I probably wasn't meant to do that, but at that point we were 45 minutes into what was supposed to be my appointment because I was waiting for her to come back and see if she could either help me and if it was too small or if she could give me another size. But since we were just right there, we just wound up doing it ourselves. So my mom helps me get in to all of these dresses. And let me just say, I'm not hating on anybody for getting an affordable option at David's Bridal because wedding dresses are overpriced, just straight up overpriced. However, I did feel a quality difference in what I was putting on at David's versus what I put on in an actual bridal salon. 
I was trying on uh, different brands. I did try on two David's Bridal brand dresses, but I also tried on a Vera Wang and I'll insert the brand because I can't think of it. But I did try on a couple of brands and they all felt around the same quality. I will say the Vera Wang felt the most like a dress that I tried on at the other salon, but even then it didn't have the structure or the boning I was really looking for to really help lift everything up. So aside from the quality of the dresses, I was sitting in a dress that I really, really liked and honest to God, I was thinking I would be okay wearing this on my wedding day. I think it's pretty. Um, I think it can be altered to um, lift me up a bit better and cinch my waist in because of course the size I was putting on was a lot bigger. Um, David's does have great options for plus size brides. They do have dresses that you will be able to fit in, but so did the traditional salon, surprisingly. I'm sitting here in this dress and my mom wants to see me in a veil. And mind you, we are sitting by the veils, but we don't want to be those people that are going over and grabbing things and just doing everything ourselves when we have a consultant that knows where to put everything back, knows um, how not to rip those very uh, thin <laughs> tool veils, uh, and maybe what would go with it better because, you know, we don't know the exact color of the dress, so probably go through and pick an ivory veil because this dress kind of looks ivory, kind of champagne almost. It's got a lot of self-tanner right here because it's a self- it's a it's a sample dress. And as the consultant comes back, again, about 15 minutes later, um, she grabs a veil and puts it on me and then says, do you like it? And I say, yeah, I like it. It's a fingertip length veil. I'd love to see something longer though, like maybe something a little dramatic or cathedral length. And she says, okay, let me go and grab one. And I think that she's going straight to the veils that I can see with my eyeballs um, but she goes to the back and I'm thinking okay and I sit there and I don't want to be rude and I don't want to get out of the dress but I'm just sitting there in a dress and I look over and the person beside me is actually in the smaller sample size of the dress and she's sitting here being like, this is actually my dream dress. I think I'm going to go with it. I'm going to say yes to the dress. And she's having her moment. And I'm just looking around, smiling, kind of over it. My mom actually wound up getting a cathedral length veil from the veils I could see with my eyeballs. Um, but it was a really almost dusty rose color. It didn't really go with the dress, um, but it was just an idea to see how it looked. And uh, the consultant came back and she actually didn't have any veils and she told us that she just couldn't find one. Um, we told her that we were okay, that we found our own. At this point, I was starting to get a little irritated because it was the end of my appointment and I thought that my consultant would help me a bit more and I thought that maybe she would pull a couple dresses off of what I gave her um, which she didn't ask me what I wanted she just asked me which dresses I pulled and she put them in the dressing room she didn't say hey do you want to try this ball gown or this ball gown or do you want to try a different style maybe I think you would look great in this or I think that you look awesome in that, you should, that is your dress. She did tell me that the dress looked pretty, um, which I appreciated, but I didn't feel like she was really there for me. Um, which, hey, if you know what you want and you've been pining over a dress for ever and you just know you need to go and try it on and you're probably gonna buy it, then David's Bridal might be a place for you because 
you don't need a consultant, but I was going to get more of a baseline of what looked good on me. I had tried wedding dresses once before online and honestly that was about the same experience. I felt like I was just doing everything myself. I got out of the dressing room and I wanted to have the finger length tip veil and the style number of the dress that I liked um, on my style profile and I told her that and I waited around for a while um, and I just about walked out the door because I was like I'll just find it online I don't care that much there's not that many dresses I'm sure I'll be able to find it um, but she came over with an iPad and made me a style profile and emailed it right then and there and I thanked her for her time um, because I'm not confrontational and I wasn't about to blame her because like I said I think that honestly it's management's fault because they were understaffed. I really know now why David's Bridal is called the Walmart of dress shopping because it's just not a bridal salon in any way it's not the, the closest that it comes to being a bridal salon is there are wedding dresses there. My experience at an actual bridal salon was the consultant was very helpful and very nice. She asked me what kind of fabrics I liked, what kind of style I go with. Um, she helped me understand the bridal sizing for different dresses and how much I would need to go up, which was about four sizes, um, just in case you're curious. Uh, David's bridal is more true to street sizes. I was actually in a dress that was my pant size, which is a 16 at David's bridal, at David's bridal, but an actual bridal salon, I was in like an 18 to 20. It's just the way the dresses are made. I honestly wouldn't recommend going to David's bridal first. I think it's definitely uh, somewhere you should go if you went to an expensive salon first and you're trying to sleep on that decision and see if you can find something comparable at a lower price point and you've already had that amazing consultant experience and you don't need it again, then go to David's Bridal. I would not go to David's Bridal first. It was just not a good experience. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna try to be more consistent with my posting and I'm not going to be posting all wedding related content. However, there will be another craft my wedding, just so you know. Um, just thank you if you're subscribed to my channel. It means a lot to me. I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye!